When we think about churches, one way to think of them is what's called the three C's. And I found this helpful, and particularly when you're thinking about small group development. Uh, the three C's are celebration, and congregation, and cell. Now, celebration is basically the large gathering of the church. Of course, some churches' large gatherings will be larger than others based on their size. But the celebration is basically the time when the whole church comes together as one and when they worship and celebrate God and praise him. And that's typically the worship service in the church. Some churches, multiple worship services. Okay? The congregation is a middle-sized group middle-sized groups in the church. And the middle-sized groups basically come together for uh, fellowship and education. The purpose of the large-sized group is basically worship and praise. The purpose of fellowship, or the middle-sized groups, is fellowship and education. So what would be some middle-sized groups in most of our churches? Sunday schools, Sabbath schools, right? So you're... What else? Would typically... Where do people in your classes, when they have a Christmas party or something like that, who does that? Your auxiliary organizations, right. So you're talking about the men's group, the women's group, the youth group, see? Um, so, I mean, these are just illustrations. We can have uh, lots of middle-sized groups. Uh, but uh, in, those, in those classes, in those women's groups, you know, the women get together, and they have Bible study, and they have fellowship. And, uh, you know, there's uh, a prayer and things going on there. The youth group gets together and they, they go to camp or whatever they do. So there's fellowship and education there. Now, certainly, in the smaller, middle-sized groups, you still do some worship and praise from time to time. But the basic purpose of middle-sized groups is more for education and fellowship of people together. Now, your cell is the small group. And the, the cell, the purpose of the cell, is intimacy. Intimacy. It is, the purpose is intimacy, uh, caring, sharing. Uh, it's in a small group where you become vulnerable to people. You know, in worship, I don't stand up and say, you know, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm having a, a bit of a drinking problem. Or, you know, or, or my wife and I aren't getting along. Or, you know, my son just got arrested. We don't say that in worship. And we may not say it in the middle-sized group. But when you get into a small group of six people, eight people, ten people, and you spend time together and you get close to them, you learn to trust them, that's where you can share your hurts and your heart problems and your struggles. And that's the intimacy concept. It's a small group. 